Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a rather odd time for me to show up. I normally show up on your screens here on TC San Monday to Thursday at 6 p.m., but I am here earlier than 6 p.m. today and on a Friday morning. The reason why I'm here is because we are changing up some programming on TCCN as we're growing, as we're learning, as we're getting more comfortable. We are trying to include more diverse topics and more programming. I am going to invite to this screen today a beautiful young lady. Her name is Deepthi, and she is a volunteer with Isha Calgary, and she's going to talk to us about Mahashivratri and how Isha Foundation is celebrating Mahashivratri. So this is going to be a part of our community update segment. Please welcome Deepthi. Hi Deepthi, how are you? Hi Ruth, nice to see you. I'm good, how are you? Good, I am very good. So your name, full name is Deepthi Rajshaker. She is the communications communications coordinator with Isha Foundation in Calgary. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell my audience that Deepthi is not 14 years old. Mm -hmm. When she first came on screen, I thought that he, her, uh, I probably need to be talking mm -hmm. to her mom, but turns out that's who Deepthi is. And she is, you're beautiful, you have this youthful glow, maybe it is because of the meditation and uh, <laughs> All the work that you do for Isha Foundation. So tell us a little bit about your work uh, with Isha. What do you do with Isha Foundation right now? Well, I'm a, I'm a volunteer with Isha Calgary. Um, and at the moment, I'm playing the role of the communications coordinator. So as part of this, um, mainly we're trying to engage with our communities, with Indian associations, uh, media partners, and trying to see how we can bring some wellness offerings to them. Um, most of which are for free at the moment, and then um, basically raise awareness about um, well-being. Perfect. So there is a huge event coming up, which Isha Foundation is mm -hmm. celebrating, which is Mahashivratri. So mm -hmm. for our audience, if you can tell us, what is Mahashivratri? So Mahashivratri is, uh, in the yogic tradition, identified to be the darkest night of the year. Um, and it's also known as to be the night of total still stillness. Um, on this day, we celebrate Shiva. Uh, another name for him is the Adi Yogi or the Adi Guru, which means the first yogi ever. So a lot of the yogic traditions, the origins have been um, from him. And so the festivities is in celebration um, of, of Shiva and also getting into the um, spiritual significance of it also is a very important day. Um, in the calendar year. And uh, who celebrates it? It's uh, Is it celebrated in the entire South Asian continent or is it, sorry, entire South Asian subcontinent or is it primarily in India? Actually, um, there are, you can look at it as um, a Hindu festival, but coming from the yogic lineage, um, which has a very, very scientific bend. Um, and there's a reason why it's celebrated by, um, spiritual seekers and people who are out about in the world who are ambitious and people in family situations as well. Um, so essentially what, what happens if you look at the lunar calendar is the 14th day of the lunar month, which is just the day before the new moon is recognized as Shivratri. So in a year, there are 12 such Shivratris, but there's one specific one that comes in the season of Maga, which is somewhere between in the Gregorian terms between Feb and March. Um, so the particular Shivratri that comes now um, is is the darkest night, like I said before. And the reason it is significant is because the planetary positions uh, at this time of the uh, of the night, especially in the northern hemisphere, is such that there's a natural upsurge of energy in the human system. So the reason this is significant is uh, because it's super beneficial for anyone who's seeking physical well-being, spiritual well-being, right? So spiritual seekers celebrate um, this uh, day um, to just take in nature support, um, the natural support for that upsurge of energy towards their growth. That's one thing. People in family situations also recognize this as Shiva's wedding anniversary. So they also celebrate this as a very auspicious day. Um, and like I said, ambitious people who are out and about um, uh, revere this day as uh, the day Shiva conquered all his enemies. So uh, the who is very diverse. 
And the why has a very, very geological scientific underpinning. Uh, and it's that we just want to make use of the natural support that nature is providing us to our growth and well-being. And what date is Shivra, uh, Mahashivratri on this year in 2021? That's a good question, Rup, because, uh, you know, I can clearly see that you understand that it doesn't fall on the same date in the, uh, as per the Gregorian calendar. So this year, Mahashivratri has, uh, is coming on the 11th of March, uh, which we're almost less than a week away. Um, and uh, Isha Foundation is celebrating this, as always, in a big way. Um, but due to COVID, we are going to have all our celebrations um, live streamed. Um, and so we have night long celebrations. So it starts from 6 p.m. Uh, the night of Shivratri all the way until morning. So 12 hours of um, dance and music and meditations and festivities. Um, so, yeah, it's March 11th this year. Mm -hmm. And what is really interesting is March 11th, 2020 was when the pandemic was declared last year. Ah! <laughs> so it will be one full year to one the declaration of the pandemic. So oh. hopefully, hopefully the celebrations and the meditation and all the spiritual connections that you will be making on March 11th this year would uh, perhaps put us on track to a happier, healthier year for everybody. Hopefully, so, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, this Mahashivratri on uh, March 11th will be uh, a game changer for everyone. Yeah. And um, one of the reasons we're excited about this also is that to just bring the joy and the festivities to the comfort of people's homes uh, during these challenging times. Uh, just the smile that it puts on people's faces, uh, the amount of energy and exuberance that it brings, uh, that's something we're really looking forward to as well. Well, I've seen videos of Isha Foundation's Mahashivratri from last year or the year before. It was massive. Uh, Sadhguru massive. was dancing and he was singing yeah. and he is a part of the, the energy there is incredible. So, yeah. um, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not a part of Isha Foundation or I don't really follow it as I mean, I don't follow it at all, to be honest, but I am, do come across videos. I do come across, occasionally come across Sadhguru in, uh, uh, I think he's an, on a lot of platforms. He is on mainstream media. He's everywhere. And Isha Foundation has an excellent social media presence. So <laughs> I have seen that quite often. And uh, that was one of the videos that I did see, the Mahashivratri. It absolutely blows you away. It's impressive. Yeah. So um, just one last question how can if anyone want wants to watch this live transmission can anybody watch it or do you have to be a part of isha foundation to watch on youtube no not at all it's for anybody who um is willing to stay alert and uh take the benefit of of the night and the celebrations and be joyful anyone and everyone is allowed is is it's free, uh, broadcasted for free on Sadhguru's YouTube channels, Facebook channels. Um, and uh, there's no, it, it has nothing to do with your um, association with the foundation. It's for everyone uh, in, in the humanity and in mankind. So it's open for all and more the merrier, right? Um, yeah, no, it's absolutely, I love the energy, like I said. I really like the energy. So it doesn't matter whether I'm associated with the foundation or not. If it puts a smile yeah. on my face, why not? It's yeah. uh, And just, just to add to that group, last year I had the privilege of actually being um, at Ashram when the celebrations were going on. And it's just so phenomenal to see that people who don't know, we, we didn't know names of who we were dancing with. And just that care, the, the carefreeness and the joy and the celebration was um, was really something I'm still getting goosebumps thinking of it that I had I keep telling my parents that my best dancers are dancers with people I have no idea who they are <laughs> they're often uh, other meditators volunteers and friends and family so um, yeah it's oh. uh, all right so quickly tell us the timeline of when people can watch this is it going to be at, it's going to be at night in India so it'll be during the day here it will be during the day here, but a couple of us meditators, because of its COVID, we don't have a Isha Calgary specific event, uh, which we used to before. 
So for COVID, what we are doing is we're just watching the same relay at nighttime here. And it's really like that whole energy just pours into your living room and it, uh, it reflects very well. We, and we conduct, we do the same meditation. We just follow along. Uh, we dance along. And uh, so you would watch it the night of March 11th, but repeat that telecast. Oh, repeat that telecast. But for those who want to watch it during the day, they can watch it during the day as well. They can, <laughs> they can watch it during, absolutely. Yeah, both are possible. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate all Thanks the knowledge for having you me shared with us. I am looking forward to watching the telecast and I will let you know how it was. I will watch it during the day, probably, or night. I don't know. We'll let you know. <laughs> yes, you should call you should call me Roop. We'll do a dance a, dance a little oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go live with that. Maybe we should yeah. have our own time. <laughs> yes. That would that would be fun. That would be fun. All right. Well looking it was, it was a pleasure. It. Thank you so much for providing this information to us. Thank and you. I will put the Isha Foundation video right after we finish chatting. And we will put all the information about where you can access this uh, live telecast. We'll put that information in the caption. So if you're interested, please go ahead and join Isha Foundation to celebrate Mahashivratri on March 11th. Thank you, Deepthi. Take care. Thank you, Rup. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Welcome to Mahashivaratri, the great night of Shiva. On this sacred night, if you maintain wakefulness and some sense of awareness, it shall bring tremendous well-being to your life. This is not just a night of wakefulness, this must become a night of awakening for every one of you. Join the celebrations live on March 11th on Sadhguru's YouTube and Facebook channels.